Hey guys, it's Fox, and t um, today I'm talking about transgender assumptions. Um, I, I don't know, life, life it's fucked up, honestly, so. Um, I just got off a 12 hour shift, and um, yeah, I'm exhausted. And also, um, home life's not that great at the moment, so. Yeah, sorry, um, <laughs> I'm gonna try and be happy and positive. We're gonna talk about transgender assumptions. Um, I have three of them, and I'm about to rant. A lot. The first one is that transgender people are phased, and, um, I don't agree with this one at all, because most people who have gone through puberty realize they don't like what they see, they hate it, and they would feel better or more comfortable as this, and not this, and that's totally valid. Um, <sighs> also, um, the only time usually it is a phase is when it's little kids and they come out around two or three and then they realize that they have their friends and, you know, they start developing and stuff and they think that they like it more than they thought, and they start identifying as differently, and that's okay, they're valid too, and I believe that because the moon has phases, every single night it changes, but it's still a moon, so humans have phases, and they're still human, and they're still valid, and I do believe you should respect someone, whether their pronouns change daily, or if their pronouns change change once, you shouldn't tell someone it's a phase, and my, I have another one, it's, um, all transgender people need to medically transition to be considered transgender. I don't believe that's true either because I just want hormones and top surgery, but I don't want bottom surgery, and I think that is totally valid. Or if you want bottom surgery but not top surgery and hormones, that is totally valid. Or if you want top surgery and bottom surgery or top surgery or bottom surgery, but you don't want to start with hormones, that's totally valid. If you just want hormones and want nothing else, that's valid. And if you want hormone or if you don't want anything at all, that is still valid. You are still valid. And simple as that um and my third one is that um crap what is it um transgender people are gay or straight um transgender people just because you identified as say a lesbian does not mean you are automatically straight when you come out if you want to be considered straight, that is okay, but you don't have to have a label. Society puts labels on people. They like to categorize people, but you don't have to fit into a label. Me, I date both genders, um, and every gender in between, the third gender, whatever. I, I date every single gender that there is. I am pansexual. I identify as gay. I am homosexual. <laughs> I'm transgender, and I'm okay with that. I am totally okay with being considered gay. But if you are female to male, and you decide to date females, and you want to be considered straight, go you. If you date, it, it doesn't really matter. Date who you want. My sexuality is attractive to people, not going to lie. And so I don't think you should have this idea put you into this category. It's just, just, it. It doesn't make sense, you know, our the way human brains work, but it's, you don't have to follow labels, you don't have to have a label. If you want a label, you can put yourself, you can have a label, but if you don't want one, you don't have to have one. It's all up to you, and I think you're valid, no matter what. And I believe that, I'm going to keep repeating this, but I do believe that just because someone has phases that they aren't valid because the moon has phases it changes but it is still a moon and it is still valid you're human you have phases but you're still valid and that doesn't invalidate any of the phases you've had in the past and that doesn't mean this is a phase and even if it is so what it's you it's who you are and you're figuring yourself out and go you um those are my transgender assumptions um i have a message to the haters if you can't keep it cute keep it mute and also i have a recovery bear 
It's a, it's a doctor to remind me of my dreams, and it's Spider-Man because he's my favorite, and I got him while I was in recovery, and mwah! Yeah, <laughs> I'm such a weirdo. Um, peace out, Cub Scouts. Like and subscribe.